A new study based on data from the Centers for Disease Control says hundreds of thousands of kids who say they're the victims of bullying are bringing some kind of weapon to school. With more, here's Mark Strassman. The report analyzes a detailed survey of 15,000 high school students who were asked questions about bullying. The survey, conducted by the Centers for Disease Control, found that 20% of those high school students reported being victims of bullying within the last 12 months. Even more concerning to researchers, an estimated 250,000 bullying victims were carrying guns, knives, and clubs to school within the last 30 days of the survey being conducted. Senior investigator Dr. Andrew Ottisman is with the Cohen Children's Medical Research Center of New York. They're telling us that, that there's practically one child in every classroom that's carrying a weapon. Ottisman's research team also found that each of the following four risk factors increased the chance of bullying victims carrying a weapon to school. Not going to school due to feeling unsafe in school or on the way to school. Having property stolen or damaged. Having been threatened with or injured with a weapon and having been in a physical fight. This is a group that's not only traumatized psychologically and they worry for themselves physically but they also pose a threat to the rest of the student body. The study showed that bullying victims were more likely to be from lower grades, female, and white. The study found that bullying victims were more likely to carry a weapon to school than kids who were not bullied. Lisa Lovalos of Northeast Philadelphia brought a paring knife to school after months of being bullied. She was arrested and suspended for five days. I know I was wrong to have it, but I mean... I felt like I needed something to protect myself. Ottisman says that educators need to do a better job of focusing not only on school bullies, but on their victims. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.